students we have completed the chapter thermal expansion of solids in the class and we have started discussing the numericals this is your third numerical see i have also written i will just explain what we have done till here don't worry okay uh what was what was our question question number 3 an iron rod a zinc rod are respectively 30.05 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters and 30 into 10 to the power minus 2 meters long at 0 degree c okay that means what two rods are given one iron rod and one another zinc rod okay and the length of the two rods given in the question in the first statement and they are kept at your 0 degree c now what you have been asked in the second part at what temperature will they be just equal in length that means what they should be heated to what temperature so that the length of both of them becomes equal so that the length of both of them becomes equal keep this in your mind this last few terms of the question clear and in your question the value of coefficient coefficient of linear expansion of both iron rod is given and your zinc rod okay two rods coefficient alpha part is given that is your this part okay so what we have done till here just let like me explain in very short let the rods be heated to your t degree c this we have assumed clear so now let's write the formula of l to c on the top i've written the expression for the alpha isn't it what did i tell you before what did i tell you previously that this is the value of alpha isn't it so if you want to find out the value of l2 what you have to do you have to keep all the terms in the either lhs or in the rhs and you can get the value of l2 okay so l2's value is l1 into 1 plus this i have written in box bracket or in third bracket 1 plus alpha into t2 minus t1 this is the formula that we have to take here okay now students before moving to the calculation part let's me let me explain what will be the value of this t2 minus t1 what is this t2 minus t1 there is a change in temperature or increased temperature this is to be what t2 that i've assumed as t t1's value is what it's written in the first statement that both the rods are kept at 0 degree c so t minus 0 0 was the initial one that is your t1 was your 0 so t minus 0 is what t see i've written here i've just written t here that means t minus 0 is t okay so students uh, we have written the data this is for the calculation of your iron rod okay see iron rod i've written and uh, l1 is the value of your iron rod 1 plus alpha this is the value of alpha check out from the question and this is your t1 that is increased sorry this will be your t only t this t t2 minus t1's value will be t here clear now so calculation for the iron rod done now we have to proceed with the calculation of the zinc rod so same way so this is your 30 into 10 to the power minus 2 it's your l1 that is the initial length of your zinc rod clear so this into 1 plus alpha that is the coefficient of linear expansion of zinc this is your alpha part of zinc into again t yt 
as I told you all increased in temperature will be what T2 is your T T1 is your 0 so T minus 0 is what T so that's why I've written T also here clear so this is for the zinc rod see I have written separately so let's proceed with the calculation okay so students in the question uh, just read out the second part of the question what is written at what temperature will they just be equal in length as I told you all that you have to take care of the last few terms of the question so that means what this part will be equal to this part that means L2 will be equal to your L dash 2 isn't it getting or not this was the length of your iron rod it is L2 this is your length of zinc rod they should be equal in length so we can equate these two values isn't it or these two equations rather so let's write L2's value I'm writing just that means for the iron rod so L2 that is the iron rods part I've written this should be equated with L-2 That means your zinc rods equation. I'm writing here students. I try to fit it in one line in your copy. Clear? Yes. You can write it here also in bracket given that means you're just following the question only you are not uh, doing it by your own okay so what it will the value will come uh, you will get the value as what you can do you can keep this term in one side that is this bracket part okay because uh, one plus you are having 1 plus 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 into t so all the t terms should be in one side and others in the rest so we'll get it as 92.7 degrees c okay